Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games, buying for this game is $200. We have hijack open, cut off flat, we squeeze ace-queen. Get one call. Uh, King-4-3 going small here. Save the call. 10 on the turn, and given the SPR here, I think we just go small again. And jams, we're going to fold the gut shot. There goes hijack open, cut off flat, we squeeze kings. See a call. Um, 983, go for bet. Calls jack on the turn. Um, I think I might play as check raise here. Yeah, I think we're going to check jam this one. So, really wet board, they're going to have like pair and draws. Um, draws in general. Uh, it's a card we're probably going to do a lot of checking on. So we kind of put like those pair and draws in a really tough spot here. Obviously sometimes we can get cooler, but I think I mainly prefer taking check jam here from out of position. So we go for jam. I really put like jack 10 in a weird spot. Jack X at diamonds. They flat queens pre. Actually they're not going to have queens because they flatted the open and then went again. So yeah, anyways, we jam, they fold. Right, so we've got limp, we raise, big blind, three bets. I think we still call the eights here. Eight, four, two, check. So we do flop the over pair. Uh, don't think we're check raising, though. Just going to be check calling. They're still going to have like, the aces, kings, and queens in range that we don't. Not folding yet, though. So we'll call. Take it to the turn. Interesting turns. So we do pick up a gutter. In a weird way, I'm almost wondering if I can jam this and try to target like, the ace, king, ace, queens. Feels a little thin though. Uh, 10 on the river, and we're going to block here. On the end, get jammed. Uh, so, what's he repping here? So, I don't. The thing is, I it, it feels like it's only a 10 because I don't think he's going to check back. Like, so nines aren't going to jam here, I don't think. And then pocket 10 through aces are going to want to bet. Um, turn. So like, I don't think he's going to check jacks here on the turn. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if he doesn't, it's like his, what's his hands here? Like ace 10 exactly. Uh, like what's he repping? He's not going to have two pairs here in this board. So he's saying he has ace 10. I think he can still probably raise like king 10, queen 10. I don't know about jack 10. I and mean, he gets blocked maybe. But he probably doesn't have those offsuit. Maybe it's ace-10 offsuit. Not, uh... Oh, uh, I'm gonna fold here, but I really want to call. Um, here we have underground open. Three bet and small blind with queens. Cold call, flop top sets. Going to set the trap here with a check. Check, check. Gotta start betting at some point. We'll make it here. And then I actually should have gone three quarters, not pot here, I think. But they raise now. <laughs> Um, I don't imagine they have many folds here at this point. And I don't want them to be able to check back river, and particularly if there's like a bad river, like a, a gutter and a spades coming in. I think we're just going to get this in, hoping we're like super cooling them against a the set. If they have a combo draw, I have to call off. So we get it in, they have a set. Set over set on the flop, we just cooler them. Queens are good. So for example, I don't want like a 9 jack or 10 of spades, and then they decide to make some really nitty check on river when we know they're just going to call off on the turn. All right, blind versus blind here in position. I think we're just going to call the tens. Could jam some too. Probably be pretty aggressive on flops. We flop over pairs. This one's a wet enough board that we'll probably be pretty aggressive too. So I'll probably jam against bets here as well. The SPR under two to one. So like, let's say this is uh, queen ten two rainbow. We would just call, um, but especially a tap out. We're just going to get this in here. Now we're hoping he has like the aces kings or ace queen, and we just hold as a huge favorite. So, did have the aces, just got a hold after getting lucky. Let's go. That's some run good. Like, three minute stretch going very well. Um, see the four bets. Some jamming here. Um, mostly flatting, I think, though. So, go for the flats. Uh, not the perfect flop. We're we'll playing pretty aggressive. We're probably sweet jamming its bets. So, we'll be all in.
old. Interesting hand here, so undergun opens. We just flat the button. Small blind three bets. Big blind or opener calls, we call. Uh, get check called on the flop. Turn. I think we can bet again here. I don't think he's gonna check the flop with Ace King multi way. Probably close. Yeah, I think we're going for value here. So we have to hope he was squeezing like an Ace Five, Ace Four, Ace Ten, Ace Jack. So if like any of those coming down the river, we're not gonna jam. But as played, I'm gonna go for this one here, targeting exactly those hands. And especially when I go flat, flat, hoping he thinks I either have a set or nothing kind of thing. Uh, probably don't want to get snap called here. This is a little thin. This is the thinnest I would go for value. But we are going to go for it. So again, my hope is he's not checking ace-king. Some people might in range, though, so we sometimes value on ourselves. Like, that would be the problem. If he does check ace-king, we got to be a little careful here because it's really hard to get paid by worse. But... Uh... Most of the time, you know, against a player I don't know, I'm going to guess a higher frequency bet with Ace King. So, we are going to value jam. At this point, I think he would have called Ace King already. So, I feel very good. Hoping he's like Ace Jack, Ace Five, Ace Four. So, yeah, he's Ace Five. So, exactly the type of hand we're trying to target there. Like the Ace Five, Ace Four suited, Ace Ten, Ace Jack. So, Ace Queen gets paid. All right, so we get three bet pre flop here. And then a bet the 4-3-2. I'm just going to raise small to be willing to go with here. Calls. Uh, six in the turn. And pop behind. We're just going to be jamming here. So obviously the straight draw is not as good anymore. But part of me is hoping they'll fold like their ace king, ace queen that maybe calls there. And then our sets would still jam here. So I can still jam some bluffs too. Like I said, the real hope here is like that now his ace king, ace queen folds. Which, you know, if we get it on the flop first, though, is like we'd still rather have him get it with like pocket pairs, like tens or nines, but like it's fine. Two limps in front, raising jacks. Get call, five, four, three, check. Uh, probably gonna be going for check raise here. So we'll stick to the plan. Jams. Now it's a single raise pop. We just get in. Hope they have a horse bigger pair. Six is late. Open under. We got 58%, 2%, and zero. So we get that as a slight favorite, unfortunately. Can't hold. So hoping, I mean, six is obviously somewhere ahead of. Hoping more for like the nines, the eights, the sevens, stuff like that. So once we check raise there, two hearts, draws. Ace size got a gutter. We're not folding. So. And like right now, I'm feeling like it's a little overwhelming. So probably going to go back down the four. Uh, three bet this one pre get called. Go small in the turn. Because we bet flop. Now we'll bet turn. Still a pretty wet board here. Um, and King River. I'm trying to think if I or jam if I can get called by worse or not, or if we bluff catch. I think I'm gonna bluff catch here. So I don't know if he calls like even like ace ten if I jam is the problem, but we can have him turn some like seven eights into bluffs. Queen 10 comes in, which isn't good. King Jack gets there against our ace queen. Um, but as we play this one, this wouldn't be a fold. This is a check to call. Kind of like a crying call. We're going to call pretty quick because I've already decided I'm calling, but it's not like I'm thrilled here. So. They have ace king. Really unfortunate there. So. Tough turn card there. And uh, no good. Yeah, and that's a good point, Tony. It's very. It's hard for him to find natural bluffs in that spot when we have the ace queen hand. So I think it's one of those spots where, like, I think what you're saying makes tons of sense block, but if I'm not playing blocks in my range, now the, the obviously the best case scenario is I get good enough where I can make the blocks in my range. So um, here we open 10-9 suited, two calls, bet flop, they both call. Turn a flush, going to bet again. Um, when we get two calls, we do have to worry about, like, better flushes here. We feel really comfortable against this stack size if they jam, though. Um, just because if we face aggression on the turn, it's going to be pretty strong, I'd imagine, a lot of the time. But against a shorter stack of the jam, this is a really easy call. Obviously, sometimes we're beat, but... Uh, calls, three river. Maybe a little harder to get called by non-flush hands, but now we hope they have, like, an ace-jack. Something like that. Maybe a five-six. They open jam, we call. And, yeah, they did have the ace. Perfect. Flush is good. 
So raise queens, couple calls, nine seven three. It's a flop. We're checking quite a bit here. See a bet. I believe can check raise here. Ooh, they raise. Okay, so a bit scary. Obviously, we're just gonna play as a call. Uh, it does set up a little awkward for us on future streets here. So my hands will be a lot of what it looks like. We go three is the turn, seven turn. Um, it might look bad a card pair. I actually think this is a good one. I don't think neither player has too much seven X unless they had sets of sevens or nine seven. So, and I think that still slow down some bluffs too, I think. So I actually think this is a really good turn card. Therefore, if somebody bets, I'm going to be leaning toward... Well, actually, if they bet, again, this is like... Yeah, this is... I was going to say, this is a really good one. And I'm trying to think if we bet River if we get checked too. I think we do. I think we do go for value on River. Actually, I'm trying to think. What worse do we get to call? I'm actually going to change my mind and check here. I'm going to try to get a player to bluff. Now, this player goes for 114. This is very interesting. So, the thing is, this feels like a very narrow range. Sets of threes. Nine, seven, nine, sevens. There are some things that miss. It's hard to find bluffs on the two people. But this is a really good run out. Ugh. I think I'm going to call this is maybe bad, though. Like I said, I actually feel like this is great. Now this player calls, it's only like 54 more. It's just never a bluff. Now we fold, which is too bad. I know we're getting an insane price, but I don't think they're ever bluffing there. If they are, they just ran the sickest bluff ever, <laughs> but with like overback call. Uh, button opens here, defend queen seven suited, flop flush draw. Uh, I think mainly check raising here. So we'll go for check raise. And the sand with Fall Thinks the Sand. I uh, do get called here. Interesting turn card, so we pick up a gut shot as well. So I'll bet the turn. And then 10 river. So I block 9-7. Having clubs is bad, but I at least block 9-7. It's hard to find tons of bluffs here. I block lots of straights. I'm actually going to run this. I know the clubs is bad, but the seven's a really good card to have. Um, so I think we want to We block 5-7 and 9-7. So again, normally you don't want to bluff clubs, but in the seven in particular, I think we run it. So we end up getting called down. They have 10-7, very good call from them. Unfortunately for us, we actually had them beat before the river. But so, and then, so, you know, if you're looking at two from their perspective, their hand's a really good calling hand, even though it's one pair because they blocked the seven, which is a very important card. So, and they don't have a club. So overall, unfortunately there, we were bluffing with the best hand for two streets, bluffed the last one and got called when we got beats, but uh, if we're going to find bluffs there, it feels like we have, if the combos with the seven of clubs is fine and uh, we bluff it off a bit. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another cash game session today for five hours. We played two, five, and one, two in the two, five game, 486 hands plus 160 in the one, two game, 1,766 hands plus 468. So probably plus 629. So another nice win here starting the year off in the right direction. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.